The Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee has finished its consultations on the Public Order Management Bill and will soon table the report to Parliament for debate. But before Parliament debates the report, the NRM caucus today started discussing it to find a common position as a party. In a meeting chaired by President Yoel Seven and Chairman of the NRM Party, the MPs gave their backing of the bill, but want some sections that restrict freedom of assembly and expression amended. There is no way a country can run without such a, uh, an act in place. So we've agreed as members of the caucus that the public order management bill is important for this country and therefore it should be brought on the floor and uh, it should be passed. But there are provisions that as a leader you may not follow. For example, you are a politician. If you are at hold any meeting, you have to inform police in advance, seven days in advance. But there are other emergency meetings that may not necessarily wait for the seven days to inform police. So I strongly believe that if it is passed, we need to consider some provisions such that we come up with a law that is good for all Ugandans. If passed in its current form, the police would have powers to outlaw a public gathering of more than three people. Organizers of such gatherings are required to seek permission from the police or face criminal charges. Now, as MPs, when we go to interact with people in our constituencies at leisure, you reach any gathering or any centre and 200 people come to greet their MP. That already constitutes a public gathering and it's described as illegal. So how do we meet our people? Because for us, at any time, people bump into you or you bump into people. Now, the public, the, the, the bill uh, falls short of describing that situation. It does not leave me the freedom of that situation. So it means we, at one time we must run away from the people because they have come very many. If I don't have permission from police. Though many opposition politicians and human rights activists are opposed to this law, its Chadondo MP Ibrahim Semuju says he will support it. Chris Wario must spend five days in detention during the Christmas recess. His supporters who welcomed him in Kanungu were even shot at. And that reminded me the story of Grace Ibingira, who sponsored the um, detention without trial act and became a victim. I actually want a, a worse public order management bill. The NRM caucus will meet again on Thursday for further discussions on the bill. Agnes Nandutu, NTV Parliament.